Hey guys, Stuart Gould here. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to share how to create and add professional email signatures to Outlook and Gmail. So if you use Outlook or Gmail as your webmail service for your business, I'm going to show you how you can create a professional and compelling signature as well as the step-by-step -step process and how you can create these signatures on both Outlook and Gmail. So if that being said, this is going to be great for those small businesses, local businesses, and professionals out there that just want to create a more professional image when they send emails, when they communicate with their potential clients or their existing clients. So with that being said, we'll dive straight into it. And first I'm going to cover Gmail. Now to create an email signature for Gmail, all you need to do is navigate over to settings, pop down to the bottom and you're going to see this section here called signatures. You want to highlight this here and then you want to add your signature down below so i'm going to add my professional signature and guide you through the process okay so here we have the first part of the signature as you can see what i've done is i've got my name here and what i want to do is make it bold and a bit larger so i'm going to add large and then i'm going to pop down here and as you can see this is my position in my business a project and content director Next to that, I have the business name. So what you want to do here is you want to navigate over to link. You want to add your website, your business website link. So I'm going to navigate over to my business website and I'm going to copy and paste the URL. Copy and then paste. Okay. And there we go. Now it's linked to my website. And down here, what you want to do is, this is the telephone number for my business. So I'm going to add the link here. But what you want to do is type in tell, colon, and then your number, and click OK. And what that's going to do is, if someone clicks this on their phone, they're going to be able to call straight to this number. Rather than linking to a website, you obviously want them to link to your phone number so they can make that call. And then what you want to do is you want to link the email. So we're going to go like this, we're going to link. And as you can see, it's already been linked, but we'll check it out, change. So what you want to do is click email address. So that when, when someone clicks on your email, they're able to send an email to this address. So that looks okay, so okay. And now what we want to do is add our business logo as well as our social icons. So to, in order to do this, we want to be able to link to these images. Now you can't do it from the back end here. So what we need to do is open up our Google Drive. So I'll follow, I'll show you the process and how you can do that. So what you want to do is navigate over here and click Drive. Then you want to add new Google Doc. And now you want to add your logo and your social share icons. Okay, and then we can attach a link to them and add them back on our signatures. So if we jump on here, we'll go insert, image, upload from computer, logo, enter, and then what we're gonna do is insert, image, upload from computer, Facebook icon, insert, image, upload from computer, LinkedIn icon. As you can see, I've got all the images I want for my signature. So first of all, I want to add a link to this image. So I'm gonna click here. I'm actually gonna resize it, make it a bit smaller. We'll go like that. And then I'm going to add a link. So if you navigate over here, insert link. And again, I'm gonna to go to my website, business website. I'm going to copy this URL, jump back over to Google Docs and insert the link there and apply. I want to do the same to this Facebook icon. So insert link and I'm going to go to my business Facebook page, copy and paste, apply. And again, I want to do the same thing to LinkedIn icon as insert link, jump over to my business page for 
LinkedIn and then we'll go copy, pop over to your documents and there we go, we'll paste that URL and apply. And there we go. Now we've got our two logos, our images here and what we want to do is we want to copy this. So copy the logo, copy and paste. There we go and we'll go enter. Now we want to add our social icons. So if we go back over to here, we'll add Facebook first, copy back to Gmail and paste and then we'll go space back over to our documents and now let's copy the LinkedIn copy and paste and there we go and that's our email signature essentially complete now if you like you can highlight the tell and you can make it bold. Same with the email, make that bold. And there we go, there's your professional signature at the end of your email. So what you wanna do is click save, so that looks okay for me. I'm gonna keep it at that. I'm gonna pop down and click save changes. Now what we wanna do is we wanna test out to see if all the links work in our signature. So what I'm going to do is compose, create a message, I'm going to send it to myself. There we go, Stuart Gould. Test and test. And as you can see, there is the email signature that we created. So it looks pretty cool. And let's send that. And now let's check it out. So this would be me as the receiver. And now I'm going to click the link to the business website and there you go it sends me straight to my website so i'm going to exit out of that and now let's try the telephone now remember this is going to pop up to some kind of call service that you have phone calls and hangouts so there you go cancels so that works now the email let's try that again look it's going to send it to this email address so we'll exit out of that now let's try the logo link to the business website Again, that is working, happy with that. And then now let's try our social icons. So let's try Facebook, perfect, that's working. And now we'll exit out of that and we'll try the last one, which is LinkedIn. And as you can see, LinkedIn is working, so that's perfect. And there we have it, there's our email signature. It's professional, it's smart, it's easy to understand. It has external links, so people can um, respond to the call to action, which could be making a phone call, sending an email, checking out your website, or following you on your social media. So as you can see, that's how you create an email signature on Gmail. Now what I'm gonna show you how to do is do this exact same process, but on Outlook. So let's jump over to Outlook, and I'll guide you through this exact same process and how you can create your email signature. So once you've logged on to your Outlook, Microsoft Outlook, what you need to do is pop over to settings, navigate down to view all Outbook, Outlook settings, and then you want to go over to compose and reply, and here's your email signature that you want to create. So again, I'm going to create the same signature. Now, as you can see, there's my email signature, the written content. So if I pop over here, I want to make Stuart Gould bold, so we're going to go bold, and let's make it slightly bigger, let's go 14. And then with Cindio, which is the website, we want to insert the link. Again, it's gonna be my business website URL. So we're gonna go copy, copy, back over to Outlook, and paste. Okay. Again, we wanna do the same to your phone number copy and remember what we did last time you want to go tell colon and then we want to go your number tell 02781020055 once we've done that okay again the same thing with your email highlight your email address and then you want to go 
add link. Now here what you want to do, because we don't want it to go to a web address, we want to go mail to colon and then your email address. So I'm just going to copy this up here, copy and paste. Okay, so mail to info because if we want, if someone clicks on this link, we want it to bring up their um, a new message to this email. We don't want them to go to a URL. We want them to send an email to this email address. So okay, and there we go. We've created all the links. Again, I'm going to highlight this tell and email. There we go. Now what we want to do is add the images. Now there's no image button up here to insert images. So what you want to do is exactly what we did before, is pop over to your Gmail, your documents, and what you want to do is copy, like we did last time for Gmail, copy and paste. Same thing again, we want to go over to Google Documents. Now if you didn't follow us through this process at the beginning for Gmail, all you need to do is open up your Gmail account. If you don't already have one, it's free to create. Jump over to um, your Documents, which is on Google Drive, and then create a new document. And all you need to do is add the images you want on your signature, and then you can add the link to each of these images. So again, I'm going to copy the Facebook image back over to Outlook and paste. Again, space, pop over to Documents and now we'll grab the LinkedIn icon, copy and paste. And there we have it. As you can see, it's all done, it's all created. We've got the two links. Third link is to the website. Then we have a image that is linked and our two social media accounts. Okay, because we inserted the link into the image. We embedded it into the images. And that is your business email signature created. And I'm gonna go save. Exit, so new message, and there you go. Look at that, there's your signature. And that's how you can create your business email signatures on Gmail and Outlook. So hopefully you got value from this video. Hopefully you can now put it into action and you can create your business signature on your email. So with that being said, I hope you got value from this. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you did get value from this, then please subscribe, give us a thumbs up below write a comment below. I'd love to hear from everyone. And yeah, that being said, we'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.